I am a Liberian. And I'm fortunate to be among the people who read this book. Even though I am not an ESL student, but I also see this as an opportunity that I will be able to help to expand my knowledge and my writing skills. Like the ESL student, we all had a journey. And like most of them, my journey was a tough journey. A journey throughout my entire life, a journey throughout my schooling life, and my journey throughout my education had been a tough one. It's often said that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. A few years ago, my step began. For most of you who do not know what Liberia is, Liberia is, if not the poorest country in the world, it is one of the poorest countries in the world. And to be educated in Liberia, but help. But in the midst of everything, in the midst of the struggles and the ups and downs, in the midst of the adversity, I'm confident and I'm proud to say that I've made it thus far. I came to, I, to the United States in 2014 when a poor country like Liberia was going through the most tragic and deadly virus outbreak ever in modern history. That was the Ebola outbreak. In as much as it hurts me, I'm proud to say that I know lots of people who lost their lives during that outbreak. It breaks my heart, but I have never stopped talking about it. And as much as we claim we do not know because of the outbreak, we are grateful that all of us did not die in struggle. When I came to the States, that was when most people thought my journey began. But to me, it was just a part of my journey. To me, it was just a chapter in my book. To me, it was just some of the pages that I have to flip to get to the good chapters in my story. However, I'm still grateful. Today, we are recovering from the deadly Ebola outbreak, but it is also sad to say that each time I put my radio on and listen to the news, my country name is being mentioned, not because of economic development, not because of a growth in GDP, but because innocent people, women and children, people like me, who are striving to be educated, I've been killed. As I go through my academic soldier in the States, I beg your indulgence to please join me on a regular and a daily basis to pray for the continent of Africa, where poverty is our common friend. Join me to pray for the continent of Africa, where children die because of hunger. Finally, if I'm successful, if I become what I want to be, I owe it to God, and I owe it to my family, but most importantly, I owe it to the BCTC family. 
This institution stood beside me in my darkest and distant hours. And when I lacked the ability to think that I was going to be successful, when I lacked the capacity that I was going to make it, this institution stood beside me, gave me the courage and hope Today, I am what I am. Thank you. As I take my seat, I will read a poem that I wrote. And as much as my story is also reading, I also wrote a couple of poems. I like to write poetry. And this poem that I wrote it is about Africa. For those of you who are Africans, you will understand that when you have an opportunity to write, a failure to write about your continent will not just make you an unsuccessful writer, it's still a chance to break you down. It is titled The African Journey. Under the religious cloud, in tears, pains, and tragedy, and wondering why our offsprings are illiterate. Why civil war? Why can terrible crowds tremble our source of freedom? Africa, a land where hills and valleys listen to the crowd salute African soldiers, African soldiers who stood the test. Some are dead, while some are alive. Some die while still in fighting. Some are alive, but strengthless. And now that the days are gone, who will take us to the promised land? It tears my eyes. And feed my heart to see other African immigrants roam the streets of foreign lands, surviving of slavery, clinched by all century, all in the name of seeking greener pastures. We cry. When will this journey come to an end? When will poverty stop being our friend? When will Africa be a place of liberation and a home of total celebration? When will our tears be of joy and our peace will ever be for our lives? When will this journey be history? That the world faction was in a rooted sector of turn against poverty, that arms and hatred be buried in mass graves. Let there be creation of new jobs, sound education, love, togetherness, and above all, let there be peace.